Okay, welcome to everybody that's joining our session. Thank you for logging on today. My name's Joanna Murchison. I'm a lecturer in the childcare and education department. We're going to be playing a video shortly um, for some student insight into coming to the college. So we're just going to wait a few moments while people log on and then we'll watch the video shortly. So welcome if you're just joining. Just waiting a few moments for everyone to log on and we're going to start with a video um, on students' perspective of being a student at Barnet and Southgate College today. But so does everyone else. Everyone feels nervous when they first start. And then eventually, after a week or so of getting to know each other, you all just end up expressing yourselves, talking to each other about what you do at placement and everything and you just become a team and you end up helping each other to complete work and get to the next step. It's lovely, I feel like everyone's really welcoming. But that's just because like, everyone here is really nice and really sociable and people do just want to get to know each other. And people are quite, some people are quite out there because like once you get here, I feel like everyone feels quite safe to be themselves. So they don't really worry about how they dress or whatever it's just like what makes you comfortable which i think is really good starting something new is always a little bit scary it's a mixture of feelings i think it's it's exciting but it's you know it's you're worried there's lots of things but for for me it this is you know what i wanted to do i knew it was something i wanted to do and i was just so fortunate to have amazing people that i, I study with and the tutor who's so passionate and so encouraging. Here, doing childcare, it just feels like the teachers are your friends rather than some scary person from back from school. It's it's so, they can you can talk to them and they're so easy to talk to and and then you can just express yourselves and say and say what you need to say and ask what you need to ask and they help you and they support you and you're able to get through those assignments with their help. I think a lot of our work is on the computer online um, using iLearn so we have access to the library downstairs um, as well as um, our designated computer time we also have um, open access rooms so you can just go in there um, you know when you have like free time or even after your classes. To okay welcome back everybody unfortunately there are a few technical difficulties there so I know the video might have been a little bit um, glitchy you might not have been able to hear all of it but I hope you got some information from that and also you can actually watch that video it's on our website on the child care and education um, tab on the Barnet College website which we'll give the link to today so feel free to go and have a look it's a lovely insight from our students as to how they found studying at the college okay so for those if you've just joined while the video has been on my name is Joanna Murchison and I'm a lecturer in the child care and education department and I'm going to take you through some of our courses this afternoon feel free to pop any questions in the um, Q&A part and I'm going to come to those right at the end and answer them all for you. Okay. So welcome, we're going to go through our different curriculum offers, contact details and then we'll come to that Q&A at the end. So Childcare and Education Department, um, Barnet and South, oops that was a bit fast, Barnet and Southgate College, we offer a comprehensive programme of childcare courses for all levels over a range of campuses. Um, this includes Barnet, Southgate, Collindale, um, actually in Edmonton as well, and within the Haringey community. That's part of the outreach work at the different children's centres that we work at. We start um, our courses from level one for those beginning their childcare studies, and we move all the way up to employment and higher level qualifications as well. So within our department, we have experienced staff who've previously worked in the childcare and education industry, as well as teaching the subject for many years. So we've all come from the industry ourselves, the different job roles that we've had before coming to teach at the college. This is our website, which you're probably familiar with. Now you can apply online, um, that link there. And what you will see is some of our former students on there. Uh, so you'll know you're in the right place for our childcare courses when you see that. Okay, so this is what we have. So on the left hand side in the blue box, you'll see the full time study programs. Now, these are for 16 to 18 year olds. 
Um, we have the level three NCFE cash technical diploma in education, uh, child care education, which is a two year course. We then have the level three cash early years workforce, which is a one year course. Uh, we have the level two cash diploma for the earliest practitioner. This is also a one year course and you'll see next to it the campuses that you can study at. And we have the level one cash diploma in caring for children, again a one year course. On the right hand side you'll see mature students. So mature students are if you are aged 19 years um, plus. So on the right hand side you should be able to see all the different courses. They're the same courses that we run, um, excluding the two year level three. And we run them again at a variety of different um, campuses. So we're gonna come back to some of those. Our awarding body is NCFE Cash, if you wanted to know, because there are lots of different awarding bodies. So ours is NCFE Cash. Okay, so you have the level one. Let's go through them in a bit more detail. We have the level one cash diploma in caring for children. And this is at the Wood Street campus. So you can see the entry requirements there in the slightly smaller kind of light blue box. Um, two GCSEs at grade two, three or above, and that's including English language. So you can apply for these online. It's open. We have the cash level two diploma for the early years practitioner. Um, so this is for 16 to 18 year olds. It is also um, part of our mature uh, study program offer as well. So students will need three GCSEs at grade three, including maths. English language should be a grade four or five. We've got the cash level three diploma for early years workforce. So this is the one year qualification. So students will require a five, well, sorry, will require five GCSEs, including English language at grade four or five, or functional skill level two. Then we have the cash technical level three diploma. So this is a two year course. Now, this one is students will need to have five GCSEs at grade four, five or above, including English language and maths. You'll see in the yellow box, this course will give you UCAS points so that you can progress on to university after the two years after completing this. Um, that's important for those of you that are looking at progression routes to university afterwards. So the two year course offers UCAS points. But if I just go back a slide, the one year course that does actually come with UCAS points as well. OK, common units covered, and this is over all of the levels uh, one, two and three. So child development, children's health and well-being, observation, assessment and planning health and safety, safeguarding, play and learning, providing safe environments for children. So you can expect to learn in all of those areas if you study one of those courses uh, with us. Work placement. So our courses are vocational. So you will be expected to go to work placement at either a nursery or a primary school, depending on which course you choose. So that will be an expectation. So we've designed, we have a designated sorry, workplace officer who will arrange a setting for all students that are aged 16 to 18 years old on study programmes. We arrange that here at the college. However, if you are a mature student, that's age 19 plus, you do have to secure your own placement and arrange to pay for a DBS, which you can do through our website or um, if work placement offer to support with that, okay? Many of our students do go on to be employed within these settings. So it really is um, a fantastic opportunity. Maths and English. So as part of your study programme, if you're aged 16 to 18 years and you do not hold a GCSE grade four or above in math and English, you will be, this will be embedded into your timetable and we will enroll you onto a math and English class as part of your childcare course as well, okay? And you'll have separate lessons for maths and English if you don't already hold it. 
If you're a mature student aged 19 plus, you can also select a math and English functional skill or GCSE pathway, but you do have to apply for that separately, okay? And you can do that on our website. We do suggest applying as soon as possible because those courses get very, very booked up. So our childcare curriculum offer this is for mature students. So if you're 19 years um, plus in age, so there's a wide range of part-time programs for mature learners from levels one to three and beyond. And they're just the same as from the list that I've just been through with you. So these are located across the different campuses again. So Barnet, Southgate, Collindale, and within the community um, of Haringey. There are different specialisms as well. Uh, this is early years, preparing to work in schools, supporting teaching and learning, and child minding. So this is for mature students. You have the other course offers of preparing to work in schools, supporting teaching and learning, and child minding. There's a list here and there's a QR code. Um, feel free to scan that. It will take you straight to the website page if you want to. Otherwise, you can just log on um, by searching Barnet and Southgate College. And you just select the tab at the top for our department and have a look and have a read through um, the descriptions of the courses. So as you can see, we have a lot on offer at the college. OK, so a level one part time course for mature students. So you have the level one cash introduction to early years settings uh, you have the level one introduction, sorry, level one preparing to work in schools and level one diploma in caring for children. So there's some slightly different options there um, for the mature students. Level two, you have the cash, the diploma and you have the certificate in supporting teaching and learning as well. Okay, the level three award in education and training, level three cash childminding. Um, you have the diploma, so the early years workforce. And you have the diploma in specialist support. So please do have a read through um, which, which courses, uh, or what courses rather, we have on offer. Do check the campus as well. Um, if you're someone that's applied, sometimes people say they're a bit worried they, it was the wrong campus they applied for. Don't worry when it comes to interview, you could discuss that uh, with the teacher that's interviewing you, okay? Okay, we've come to the end of oh, my presentation. Doesn't seem to want to click, there we go. All right, um, so for all courses, when you do enroll with us at the college here, um, you will get the following. So when you enroll, you can access the Microsoft package for free. And this includes Word, PowerPoint, OneDrive, Office 365. So it enables you to complete all of your college work. Everything is submitted to our online platform, iLearn. So you will need access to a laptop or computer to complete your work and submit it. Delivery can be a mixture of face-to-face and online. So again, you do um, need to have that internet access, that access to uh, a laptop or a computer to attend classes in some cases and to complete work. What do we expect from our students? So as you can imagine, we're very passionate about childcare and this means that we want our students to achieve the very best. We expect you to attend all lessons with a positive attitude and a willingness to learn. The work placement is an important element of your course as this will Im embed your knowledge and understanding of new skills. And it really is, it's like, as I said before, it's a vocational course. Um, so it's not an option to do work placement. It is a requirement as part of all courses that we offer. Some good news stories. Um, we really do like to obtain feedback from our students. Um, you can see um, Jeanette is one of our former students and she studied the level two and level three with us. She actually went on to open her own nursery uh, directly as a result of studying with us. It's called On the Green N14 and it's in Southgate. Um, and she really felt that Barnet College had supported her with her studies and her, um, her next career move. 
many of our students become employed by nurseries whilst they're on placement um, within a setting as well, which is fantastic. And we have previously have sh had students that have completed the supporting teaching and learning programs with us and the college itself here have actually employed them. So lots of opportunities. Okay, now we have come to the end um, of the presentation. So you have my details at the top there for any childcare courses. I'm Joanna Murchison. Um, Sinead Hennessy, please do contact her if you're looking at studying um, in Haringey community at some of the community centres. And Tina Adams is the course lead for the supporting teaching and learning um, pathways. So make a note depending on which course you are looking at. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to go to the Q&A and I'm going to have a look at some of your questions and begin to answer them. So do pop something in there if you've got a question. Okay, so we have some questions here. So thank you, Anthony, for your question. Um, you're asking, are all topics covered by the same um, lecturer or does that change? Um, what we have done this year is you have one, uh, you have one teacher um, for your class. That's how we've operated this year and how we plan to next year. So you would have one teacher who would deliver the course to you. Um, a typical day for a student, you've also asked. We were hoping that that message would come across in the video. If I could just redirect you to that video, which is on our website to play, it's honestly fantastic. Um, and there's some internet delays there, but if you just click on that, it is on our page and they will answer a lot of questions, which is why we really wanted to play it to you. So just have a little look back over that. Do students remain with the same classmates throughout the duration of the program? So yes, you will remain in the same class. Enrollment takes place, courses start in September, and you will remain in that one class. Um, also asking how many courses or how many modules and topics are covered in this course. So that really depends on which level you're studying and which qualification you're studying. So it could be anything from um, 10 to 20. What I would suggest is when you apply for your course specifically, if you can just ask that question at interview and, and the answer can be more specific to the course that you've chosen. So Edith, thank you for your question. You have asked, can I work in a nursery with level three um, if you're on a level three mature is that course so yeah if you are on the level three workforce yes yeah, so that's the early years pathway yes you can work in a nursery if you are taking the level three supporting teaching and learning that would need to be in a primary school or a secondary school so I hope that's answered that for you Um, another question here is, do I need a work placement for a diploma in a childcare course? Yes, the answer is you do. Um, Halima's asked, um, childcare level one, does that include work placement? Um, yes, we do ask you to have some experience and complete some work placement um, on the level one. And that can be discussed with the teachers. Noreen, hello Noreen, um, could you please explain what is the difference between early years practitioner and early years teaching assistant? Yes, so the early years um, practitioner course is if you want to work with the under fives in a nursery, okay, so that's the early years pathway, it's under fives in a nursery setting. If you're looking at doing the supporting teaching and learning, that is for a teaching assistant, it's a qualified to be a teaching assistant, so in a primary school or a secondary school. So the difference is the age of the children that you would be 
working with. Okay. Okay, so we have a question here um, from Alia. So how many times a week would you be expected to go into class? Um, so again, Alia, it's depending on which course you've studied. So what I will say is if you are aged 16 to 18, how many days would you be in college? It'll be anything from two days to three days, depending on what level you're studying. So two days to three days in college, and then it's either two days or three days, depending on which way around it goes, at work placement. Okay, so you would be expected in for a minimum of two days. Sometimes it's three. That depends if you're taking English and maths, because those classes may be on another day. So I can see you're asking if you haven't got a GCSE, do you have to repeat that again? And my question, oh, sorry, my answer to that is yes. So if you didn't pass maths or English at GCSE and you're age 16 to 18, then yes, we will automatically enroll you into the math and English classes. So you can study it here. Okay, so I think we have a question from Evan. Um, so for teaching assistant, is that supporting the teacher? Yes. So these supporting teaching and learning qualifications, that is if you want to go into that teaching assistant role in a primary school or a secondary school. Okay, so somebody's asking about the um, amount of placement hours um, specifically for the level two in this case. So we do ask you to complete work placement for 12 hours every week, term time. And for the level two, we'd expect you to achieve 250 placement hours by the end of your course. So Christian's asked, what date do we come in in September? So Christian, if you just have a look on the um, website and you can apply online, and after you've had your interview, then it has to be timetabled and you'll be given notice of which day in September. But what I can say um, is that it will not be the first week of September, okay? Okay, I'm just gonna take a moment to read down some more of the questions. I can see there are really quite some specific questions coming up. If I don't answer it while we're online today, can I ask you just to take down a note of the email addresses um, for the course and just contact it's either myself or that person directly because some are really quite specific about what qualifications you already hold. And I think it would be best to contact us directly to have that conversation. Um, so somebody's asking, Edith's asking, do I have to go to college or a lesson's gonna be online? Well, I'll be honest, that's sometimes a difficult question to, to answer, um, but right now the college, we do have plans, unless any restrictions come into place, um, we do have plans for it to be a blend of on-site in the college and online. Um, there's a question, can you become a primary school head teacher with a childcare course? You would have to progress through um, degrees in order uh, to reach those positions. So it would be a, a, a journey through qualifications. And we have some questions for health and social care. Lato my colleague Latoya is doing that next. Um, I believe that's at five o'clock, her webinar. So if you just want to log on to that and she can be really specific um, with any health and social care questions there. With regards for mature students for any costs, um, Benedetta, I can see you're asking about the cost for the courses. If you could, again, just have a look at that on our website, please, um, or you can call our customer services team at the college just to support with the, the um, 
financial questions there as to how much it costs. So Seema's asked a question, would we be able to change our courses during the year? We'll need to wait to the end of the year. So um, Seema, so you, will, you won't be able to change just suddenly throughout the year which course you're on. Uh, and that would be because you would have missed um, modules at the beginning of the course because you were enrolled into something else. So do have a read through, you know, make sure it's the course for you, book an interview, talk to the teacher about it one-to-one -one, just to make sure and they can support you with being on the right path. Um, so Helena, Helena is asking about how we're checking GCSE qualifications. So we will be asking when you have an interview to bring your certificates in, uh, whether they're in the UK or in, from a different country, please do bring your certificates in for your interview. And with regards to work placement for mature students, we would ask you to bring a letter in to confirm that you have a work placement. Um, before the course starts. We as a college have a placement officer, her name is Fatima Khan, and she does support work placement, but for the 16 to 18 year olds only. Ardas asked a question, so when will we have our interview? So if you apply um, online on the website, you will be notified of when the interviews are taking place. So don't worry, you will be contacted. Um, so Nuri has asked a question, what's the difference between doing university or level three? So a level three qualification is a level three. And then when you move on to university, you go into level four, level five and level six. So a degree is level four, five and six. So the level three is the qualification before that. And in most cases, it's the entry requirement onto courses. Uh, so Becky's asking what course would be best to be a nursery teacher for 16 to 18 year olds. So Becky, I mean, it totally depends on, <clears throat> excuse me, your GCSEs, because um, they're entry requirements onto our courses, but you would definitely want to do an early years course and you would be looking at levels one, two or three. Again, it depends if you've got GCSEs in maths and English. Um, grade C and above, you can go straight on to the level three, but otherwise you might be looking at the level two and one just before that level three, okay? Um, so question is the, so the level two diploma in early years, so we're asking is that only covering childcare? It does just cover child development, yes. Um, so Faith's asking where can I apply? So if you go pop straight onto our website, Faith, and at the top you should be able to go to courses and you should see from the drop down you've got the um, child and education department and then have a look through there. So another question is, how is it decided which level we start on? Well, really, I mean, that comes down to your um, interview. So, you know, you apply for the course that you want to go on to. And then you can have that discussion with the teacher that's interviewing you. And you can explain what the qualifications are, if you've got any before you um, have applied for this course. <laughs> Um, if you've got any work experience, you may have been employed in a nursery for some time and you've decided now you'd like the qualification. So that's really um, dependent on what qualifications you have and you can discuss that with the teacher at interview. I'm just reading down some more of the questions. Okay, I believe we've come, I've come to the end of the questions. So if you didn't get a moment, just pop it through quickly. Um, otherwise we are gonna to come to an end shortly. 
thank you once again for everybody that has logged on. I hope you found that helpful. As I said, please do take a note of our contact details there. And some of them questions I'm aware I haven't actually answered. They're really quite specific to um, the skills, knowledge, qualifications you hold. So can I advise you to actually contact us directly and we'll respond to you via email. Um, and do that anyway, if you feel your questions haven't been answered or something comes to mind a bit later on this evening, just send it through in an email to us and we'll get right back to you. Um, you can also, as I said, go on the website, click on the courses because you can actually have a little read of what that course involves uh, and what the entry requirements are as well. So it is all there for you, as well as that lovely video. Please do go back, have a watch um, over that. Some of our fantastic students sharing their experience and it's from their perspective as well, which is always really nice. OK, so there are no more questions, so we are going to um, end this webinar now. Thank you for joining. Please remember you can apply on the website. Take care, everybody.